What's going on guys today? I want to talk to you about a pretty cool product that got sent my way and that is the Spider Pro camera holster from Spider. <laughs> If you're a photographer like me who's on your feet for a long period of time or you're carrying multiple cameras at you over an extended period of time on a shoot, you may want to check out this nifty Spider Pro belt from Spider. Now this is something that I've seen photographers use out there at sporting events for a long time now, so I was really excited to get my hands on one to give it a test run and I want to thank my new friends at Spider for sending one my way. So the deal is, instead of the cameras going over your shoulders like you normally would, the cameras are going around the waist and I think the main benefit that I see is that it really just saves a lot of stress and pressure on your back, on your shoulders, especially if you're out there for a long period of time carrying these heavy cameras around. Here's how it works. It's got an adjustable strap, just like a normal belt, so it fits any size, and the belt comes with one camera holder. But you can get another one for a second camera that goes on really, really easily. And they've come up with this nice little system. Basically, this custom plate goes on the bottom of your camera, just like a normal tripod plate would. And the plate has a little pin on the bottom, and that pin slides right into the holster lock, which is attached to the belt. And once the cameras are in, you can really quickly slide the pin in and out of the holster to get to your camera at any time. Once the cameras are in the holster, they are not going anywhere. But just to be sure, you've also got the option to lock them in place with this little lock right here. The belt buckle clips right in front and it's actually got a third lock in the front of the buckle to make extra sure that it doesn't fall off your waist. It's very, very easy to put together. It's a simple setup that took me only about five minutes from start to finish out of the box to around my waist. Overall, this belt is really well designed and no matter what position you find yourself in, whether you're crouching or jumping up and down, the belt will definitely stay on you. And the cameras aren't going anywhere. It's got no problem holding the weight of a heavier DSLR camera and can easily handle a bigger lens like a 70 to 200 or something similar. Once you get the hang of taking the cameras in and out of the holster, it goes really quickly and it allows for easy, fast access to your cameras. Now, it is recommended you take the camera straps off when you're using the holster, which honestly is a little nerve wracking just to have your cameras freestanding, but to counteract, Spider does make a hand strap that you can put on the side of your camera so that it's not going anywhere, or they have a web tether to make sure your cameras are always attached to you. So I've been using this for the past few days here at Fenway Park during Red Sox games. It definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, but I feel like I'm at the point now where I'm pretty comfortable with it. So we've got batting practice down on the field. So I'm gonna put the belt on and give you guys kind of a live test run down on the field. <laughs> on. I've got two Nikon D5 bodies strapped onto the belt. One with a 24 to 70 lens and one with a 70 to 200 lens. My initial reaction is it feels really good. It's nice to not have all this weight around my shoulders. Usually when I'm shooting batting practice, I'm you know, on my feet for one to two hours at a time and it does get heavy on the shoulders and the back after a while and it's just nice to not have that. I feel kind of free. I feel like I can move around very quickly and easily. And you might think the weight is just kind of, if it's not heavy on your shoulders, it's gonna be heavy on your legs and your waist, but I feel like the weight is distributed differently, nice and evenly, and it doesn't really feel like it's going to be a problem to have these on me for two hours and feel any sort of fatigue. So let's go get after it. done batting practice feeling really good uh, definitely an adjustment for those of you who are used to having the cameras over your shoulder it is an adjustment it is a learning curve I've been using these for about two days now just to kind of get used to it before I started this video and I'm at the point now where I feel pretty good but it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to just so you know Maybe this is only unique to if you work in a 100 plus year old uh, ballpark, but we do have very narrow walkways here. And especially when there are fans in the, in the ballpark, it's kind of a lot of this, like squeezing through areas and squeezing through people when you're walking through crowds and narrow uh, pathways in the seats. And that is one potential problem I see with this is just, you know, banging the cameras into things that you're walking through. You know, when you have 
the cameras on the straps, you can really kind of squeeze them in when you need to get through a tight little space. Um, and without the straps on the bodies, you know, I do see a potential there for an issue, um, but maybe again, unique to just, to just where we are here in Fenway. Usually it's over the shoulder. They send me this belt. You like it? I think it's easier. I've been asking the players, like, hey, what do you think of this new belt? All the players say it looks super legit. All the players are like, oh, you actually look like you're working now, rather than when I had them over my, over my shoulders. They think it looks a lot better. love having this as an option in my kit, especially for those times when I know I'm going to be out there shooting for a long period of time. And it does have a few minor limitations. I think it gets a little bit in the way if you do have close quarters or tight little spaces to squeeze through. And also, I think if you're really, really relying on switching quickly between lenses for really fast paced game action that's happening in front of you and you have to switch back and forth really quickly, I do think the traditional over the shoulder strap method is gonna be quicker for you. But if you are in an environment where you've got a little bit more time and things aren't happening so, so fast, I really think this is a great pickup for you. I will definitely be using this in the future here at the Red Sox for things like extended portrait shoots, feature hunting, all day headshot shoots, or even just in my personal life, walking around or going for a hike outdoors. So I definitely recommend it. I've got the link below for you guys. I really wanna thank Spider again for sending one my way. And I really wanna thank you guys for following along. We are approaching 1000 subscribers, which is really exciting. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this system or really just anything else you wanna talk about. I'm all ears as always. And for now, I am out of here. I'll see you guys at the next one. <laughs>